Bang! Needs Knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife, Kara. Should be back home here any minute. And today, we have a couple unboxings. First, starting off, a package from SharpeningSupplies.com. Thank you guys so much. I, I contacted them and asked them if they wouldn't mind donating a sharpening tester to the channel. Because, as you guys know, we do lots of knife sharpening on this channel. And I would love to get one of their sharpness testers and not only showcase it on the channel, but also test some edges. So, it's kind of a win-win. But, I've been buying sharpening supplies through sharpening sharpeningsupplies.com for a while now and i've recommended them uh, i couldn't tell you countless times we even did a video on their magazine so definitely shout out to them and if you are looking for any type any kind of sharpening supplies go to sharpeningsupplies.com they have stuff on amazon and also you can just go directly to their website let's unbox this thing all right as i'm opening these this box these guys are amazing and i just want to say right off the bat it felt really good when they knew who we were. Um, I, I requested this, and, and no questions asked. He asked me for my address. That's amazing. Or they did. I'm sorry, because they are a team over there. They threw in a damn strop. That is amazing. And ha, some compound. Now, that's a big brick of compound. Now, I also want to say I have never used one of these sharpening testers. We're going to check that out here in a second. This is the big daddy right here. Um, like I said, I've never tested one of these out. We will test one of the, my edges. So um, I know you guys are probably interested in to see what kind of crazy numbers I'm going to get <laughs> or how embarrassed I'm going to be one of the two. I do have, I think I have a couple fresh edges around here. I mean, maybe not like ultra fresh because you know i tend to use my knives and you know i got i gotta start with an excuse right now just in case if my numbers high i got an excuse what are these oh okay okay so this one is the kind that you put in the little disc and i've seen the other ones and then you cut this wire and then depending on the weight on this thing depends on your edge now i've also seen the other ones the wire where you pull out i think it's on this thing let me just get this get this scene together Oh, okay, so I think it's actually both, because here we have the wire already preset. So, you know, like, I think it comes out of the bottom here. Yep, right there. So the wire's in the bottom. You pull it out, wrap it around, then tangle it around, wrap it around nice tight. It goes right there. So we need to tar it off, and then you'd make the cut. Now, there's always a little stand um, that I see people use. I think I see people use. I don't know what this is right here. Oops. Let's turn this off for a second. I, I think um, I'll have to watch for that. I forget what that is. Is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this part is. Um, Is this the stand? Would you hold it over here? And then... Or is this the stand? Maybe it's over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a magnet. <laughs> Do you go like this? Yeah, I think so. And then you cut it. Now, we're not going to use this knife because I've been using this all day at work. You know what, actually? Let's just do it. This is my M4 steel. The edge is still pretty decent. I've been using it for weeks, though. So I, I'm not trying to make no excuses right now. This knife has definitely been used a lot. So let's just test it. Um, can I get that any closer so I'm getting more up in here? Whatever. Forget about it. 208. Ooh, that was not a good edge right there. All right, well, I don't know. 208. Where's the thing? I know the numbers are... Uh, I f ah, man. I forget the numbers. Oh, yeah, I'll find the numbers really quick. Let me get this wrap back up, and we'll do uh, a sharp knife. Not saying that that wasn't sharp, because that's actually pretty sharp. You know what's crazy? There's bearings right here. Look at this. See the ball bearings right there? Isn't that crazy? I never knew that. Um, I wonder if this being a specific amount of tightness matters. Um, I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe I should try to get a little tighter. 
you know, there's probably, a, I figured there's a ton of variables with this and like, I, I figure there is, and I've been wanting to know the variables, like, and what I mean is like, so what if it's a polished edge? What if it's a toothy, man, that just made it baggier. What if it's a toothy edge? What if it's a this edge? You know, like which one is better to test? Which one comes up sharper on this specific test? Come on. All right, let's check out the Civivi button lock elementum. Now that I kind of figured this thing out a little bit. 22. <gasps> That's a heck of an edge though. Look at that thing. Look at that edge. Look at that edge. Oh, that thing's that this thing is so sharp. I mean, it, all right, guys, I'm recording this in the future because I wound up reading the sheet and I was doing it wrong. I was going too fast and I was getting some ridiculous numbers, like some really good numbers. And I was freaking out. I'll leave it in so you guys can watch it. But I was doing it wrong. So I was going too fast, which is going to give you a really low number, I guess, or I don't know, possibly or something. You're not supposed to go really fast. And I was. And here i want i just i want to be honest about it so here is an actual number from this knife Seventy nine. I did get a fifty six from it the last time, or fifty seven or something. So right around there. Um, <laughs> but wait till you see the numbers I was getting because I guess I was going maybe a little too fast or something. I'm gonna do a couple more really quick, just so you guys can see the real numbers. Like I said, I you know I'm not trying to to BS the numbers or anything. Oh. All right. So basically, what I was doing in the in the video, I was doing toothy edges and polished edges, and I was here. Here's the riffle now, the Civivi riffle. Let's try this one. And um, I apologize, I had to put this part in the video. Fifty-eight. I did get a forty-one on this thing um, a second ago off camera. But uh, whatever, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's try the brazen drop point as I did put it in this video. Didn't touch it. Fifty-eight. So that's more of a realistic number, um, and. You guys seen a couple of the other ones, so, but I'll definitely do a full review on this system and everything and show it in a lot more videos, a lot of my sharpening videos and some of the knives I sharpen, etc. Um, you know, after I really get the hang of it, this is obviously just the first impressions and an unboxing, but let's, let's watch my amazement of the, the fascinating edges I got. <laughs> Okay, this riffle is a polished edge. It has been used. Um, maybe I'll just hit it on their strop really quick. Now, what I was going to say is that why don't I try to do the difference between... Oh, man, that's some nice leather. I like this leather. Oh, that feels really good on the knife. So, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see, and I know it'll be two different knives, but the difference between a polished edge and a toothy edge. I got a couple polished edges here. This one's really good. So I'm going to try this one really quick. This is the TRM. I'll try the riffle. Don't worry. I know you guys are probably like, why don't you try the riffle? Watch this. 22. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> I got me a 22, dog. Oh, snap. I think I was doing it wrong before, guys. I think I was doing it all wrong before. Now that I might have it figured out, we might be all right. Let's try it again. 
We got wires laying all over. All right, so now we're going to try the riffle. Let's try that riffle. The riffle. I said, I kept telling you guys this knife was like crazy stupid sharp. 24. Holy cow. That is damn sharp, boy. Wow, that's sharp. That is very, I mean, I, I, I can tell just by feeling this thing. This thing is very, very sharp. Let's try the brazen because this one, it's a pretty sharp edge. I mean, it's about as sharp as the riffle. I mean, it's not far off. I think I laid the edge back a little bit more in the riffle, but let's try it. Oh, that's got a lot of slack. Whatever. Forget about it. I don't care. Ready, set, go. 33. 33. That's a damn good number. Damn good number. All right, so now let's try... Oh, you know what? This knife right here, this has got a very toothy edge. The only thing is I do have some nicks in it. It does have a couple little chips. Let's take a look at it really quick because it is a damn good edge. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. So yeah, it, it is a damn good edge, but I got a couple chips up here, but I don't think that will affect it. So let's do this one, and then, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll try one more or something. So this is how you do this. I got to tighten this now, then bring this over, then go like this, then tighten it. Nice. All right. You guys ready, Freddy? Sorry, I had to do that. All right, here we go to the edge. There's, sorry, sorry guys, I got, it's not even, there's just wire in the way. All right, I think it's out of the way enough. Got to hit the camera. All right, focus. All right, tar. Oh man, it's so far by the Rakasa. Like we're going way back here. I was hoping we were going to get right there. Let's see. Three, two, one. Third. 13! 13! Bang! Bang! Are you kidding me? 13! That is crazy good. The only thing is you got little wires sitting everywhere like hairs. So, got some great numbers. We will definitely keep testing this thing out, working it out, figuring it out. I think those are amazing numbers. I'll put... Let me see if I can find the thing. Okay, so here is the chart. I'm pro I probably put a little clip in it since I didn't find it before, but here's the chart. So at the beginning, we were getting um, utility razor. Now we're at double edge razor blade. Damn right we are. Damn right we are. So you guys are probably wondering, well, we want to see a low number. So we're going to do one low number. I think I got one for you guys. Let's do the beast. This thing, you know, it, it's not as bad of an edge as you would think. Let's test it. You guys ready? I'm ready. Wait, why didn't I hit it? That felt weird. All right, let's do it again. 294. Let's see what that is. What's a 294? Where did my little piece of paper go? Oh, it's over here. I don't think 294 is that bad, though. Uh, new high-end cutlery edge. Well, I will say that this was tuned up by somebody before they sent it, I believe. I got an idea. Okay, we're doing one more. Now, listen, guys, I know I should be doing an average. I'm just messing around for the first time, but we're going to pull out, I think, a World War II bayonet with no edge. I mean, not since the, the last time it was on the battlefield, but yeah, it's as dull as it could be, um, so let's test it. 
<laughs> Come on. I don't want to break the machine. <laughs> 9.48. What are we at? Severely, wait, yeah, severely rolled edge. Come on, focus. Severely rolled edge. Right here in this area. Yeah, that, that makes sense because it's, you know what it is? It's a rounded edge is what it is. But I could see that being picked up as a rolled edge. And shout out to sharpening supply, sharpeningsupplies.com. Definitely get all your sharpening supplies from sharpeningsupplies.com. They have great materials. Great. Here, here's actually, check that out uh, upside down. Go to sharpeningsupplies.com to get all your sharpening supplies. They have great sharpening supplies, all different things, everything you can imagine for sharpening your knives. And you guys know how much I love sharpening knives. So to me, that is a great asset to have. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.